Feels good to ride the rails. Sure does. Eager to drive once we're in Gralia? <laughs> if they'll let me. <laughs> we're fortunate to have the regalia at all. We owe the First Secretary our thanks. She'd get more thanks if she gave us a discount. Those transceivers are top-notch. I recall when the Hydrian raged. In the midst of the Empire's retreat, one conspicuous craft remained behind. The Chancellor's. The last thing I remember seeing was his ship heading for the altar. I fell unconscious and was powerless to stop him. I'm just glad you're alive. Oh, is someone else there? Gladio. He just came back. Where did he go anyway? On a brief reconnaissance. Something caught my ear. Hey, Captain. Mission complete. Splendid. So what caught your ear? Rumors of longer nights. They've been growing longer day by day. There was talk of it back in Lucis, but recent days have shown an unseasonably sharp change. Huh. Should this trend continue, before long, there won't be daylight. Well, it's not out of the question. The Empire's already slain half of the Six. No wonder the whole world's in disarray. I guess. And longer nights mean more demons. Seen that with our own eyes. I happened to overhear a fellow passenger discussing this very same phenomenon. So he sent yours truly to seek him out. Nice police work. Well, don't want to keep him waiting. No, we don't. Back in a moment. Sure. There you are, buddy. Did you see this? Oh, it's unreal. Yeah. Never seen anything like it. Doesn't make any sense. snow cloud kind of gives me the chills like who comes up with this stuff I couldn't dream something like this if I tried it's a wondrous world this is fucking cool and uh looks like your option is attack yeah which seems like a reasonable option what the hell are you doing here what's going on Easy there, buddy. Oh, didn't see that coming. You all right? Shut up! Be careful there! Wait, is this for real? Oh, no! Oh. So is this? Ah, uh, knocked. <laughs> What is going on? Well, you know, Coops, you're not supposed to leave your drinks unattended for this very reason. Come on, Nort. You're scaring me. Seriously, man. Cut it out. It seems strange that Nort doesn't even Plus, know what... You're causing a scene. Quit playing around, okay? You think this is funny? Dude, are you seriously trying to kill me? Why wouldn't I? I've got you now. What are you after following me around this whole time? It's all your fault! What are you talking about? Do you really mean that, Noct? I mean... Yeah, or maybe. 
<laughs> yeah. I kind of... I'm curious here. Because this seems like the wrong answer. What? Are you saying it's not? Yes. What good would it do me to hurt you? Who cares? Knocked. Please, can't we talk for a sec? Never. Well, who done crashed the train now? Who crashed the ta train stuck in a time paradox? Like, what the fuck? You sell you. I'm gonna assume this is, uh... The Glacian, however. So, there was a name for... for Titan as well. The Archean. Archean. And then the Leviathan had a name. The Hydrian. The Hydrian. The Glacian would be effectively Shiva, or... another summon of some variety, I assume. Yeah. So that would be the third that they've... killed. Quote unquote. Of course, then Rama isn't dead. So I don't know if Rama is necessarily part of that. I mean, he gave you a blessing. Knocked. Are you okay? No. Where's Arden? Wait. He's here? If he is, that would explain all this weird stuff happening. I bet he's behind the train stopping. Ignis and Gladio went up to inspect the engine room. I say the two of us go check out the rear. Yeah. So, the glacier, like, I'm trying to think what other major elements there are. So there's fire, so Ifrit, or something like that, I'd assume. Um... Jesus Christ! Did they bomb us? Not! We have to protect the people! Looks like they've got the train surrounded, front to back. The Empire, I imagine? Oh yeah. Head to the next car! Leave these guys to us! Let's try this uh, samurai sword. So much for a safe ride. Uh, it works. Aboard. Let's check the rear. It's we quite quick. Train moving again. I'm sure Ignis and Gladio will come up with something. I hope so. Stay safe, buddy. How bad do you think it is? Fuck. That's really bad on the train, especially. Just glass. I also hear gunshots, which is not ideal. Crack. The MTs can self-destruct. We can't let them inside. Well then, we take the fight to them. Oh, wow. Wow. I'm kind of digging this set piece. Let the party begin. What are the odds we'll win? He's back on his feet. That sword seems pretty good, but... Seems like there's steel armor. There's no boost for your Hanzo steel. <laughs> yes. Um. I guess I was stuck. I like how it's complaining about there being too many of them when you're just stuck on like a fence post. Yeah. This is a um. This is a pretty neat set piece, though. They do appear to be spawning out of nowhere. Yeah. How bad do you think it is? Oh, it looks like. He's ready for round two. Go for that one dude behind that's like just marching for the. Yeah, ground. I think those are the uh, the self-destructing dudes they were talking about. Is there someone in the back too? Or is that just I thought like, I saw it's... like cannon shots or something. Yeah. Is there anything we can do about that? Other than just these nerds basically spawning all the damn time. 
It looks like the train's HP is just slowly going down. Yeah. Oh, that's what I want to check. Uh, Prompto. To give you a weapon. Machinery of some sort. That's why you couldn't use your abilities earlier. You still can't use your abilities? Fuck. Can you run to the back and see if you can get that cannon? Yeah, after I get the shock trooper, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, see the slashes? Yeah, those are definitely cannons, and there's definitely nothing I can do about it. I can't target them at all. Shock trooper. Oh, here we go. Stay back. Here we go. Ha! Not! Hurry! Come on! We're leaving! What? All right. Fucking Star Destroyer! What the we fuck? First. How's that now? Shoot up. Oh, well, an idea. Destroy these things. Nope. She's gonna blow. Oh dear. Oh, uh, what? What? Uh -huh. By the way, I said you use cannons to shoot him down. I need to get out of here. <laughs> Please stop hitting me when I'm trying to destroy those dudes. Just causing chaos for yourself. I wonder if they just leave you alone if you got in the can and they're like, oh, where did he go? Yeah. Then we get out. To the point where we're there we go. Right there. How long were you in the dark? Huh? What? What? This is fucking going places. Like in some boardroom, somewhere like, hey boys, you know, I heard people like Final Fantasy VII, which was confusing as fucking shit. So let's make another game that's confusing as shit. <laughs> so what happened to Prompto then? Is he fucking dead? Well, you pushed him off the train. I can't believe Prompto's fucking dead. I doubt he's dead. I can't believe Prompto's fucking dead. Oh, whatever. I'm pretty sure Ignis figures out a C again, too, because of that opening cutscene where you're fighting the dude. The fiery dude.
Why are we getting two different load screens? Just one more way to make shit confusing. Damn it. What's wrong? Ignis, you've got to stop this thing. Prompto fell off the train. I pushed him. I mean, Arden made me. I don't know where he is, but we can't leave him. Stay calm, Noct. I'm as concerned for Prompto as you are. But stopping the train would endanger everyone on board. We'd be sitting ducks for the demons. What do we do? First, we drop the passengers off at Tenebrae. We'll be arriving shortly. What about Prompto? Given the Chancellor's involvement, it's probable he's no longer where we left him. In any case, he may try to contact us. Let us wait and hope for now. Can you make your way here? Gladio's with me. Are the two of you okay at least? Yes. Okay, on my way. Huh? I'll be there as soon as I take care of these stowaways. Oh. Nope. And things just got worse. I guess demons are fine in tunnels. Yeah. yeah. Note to yourself, this, this environment does not... Tunneling, bad idea in this universe. You left that last Snaga alive. Maybe not. No, I don't think so. Is that the correct way to go? Uh, I was just looking at the, uh, quote-unquote stowaways on the train. I don't know what is the correct way to go at this point. Probably toward the front. Either towards is the front it? or towards the back so you can get back inside easily. With big gargoyles. Can't yeah, it's a good thing we're this. pretty over leveled, huh? Then. It doesn't let me know. That, that warp strike. It's, these various mid-air moves are preventing me from uh, from flinging myself off the train anyways. That'd be real shitty if I had to con concern myself with that, too. Oh boy. Um. Hello? Leviathan train wash here for your services. It's good to know that Leviathan decided to be a bro after all. Uh huh. Well, look who's here. Haranea. 
Guess we've got you to thank for this mess. More to it than meets the eye. You want to know who to thank? Come with me. <laughs> Can't wait to hear this. Well, go on. Let's go thank them. Huh. Huh? What did you do to your eyes? No, oh, uh, just a flesh wound. Can you see? I'm afraid not. Wow, that sucks. It's a cruel world. Uh, wasn't there one more of you guys? Yeah, there was. <sighs> we lost track of him. Is he dead? I... I don't know. Then quit moping, keep hoping. And in the meantime, handle what's at hand. Makes one of us, uh, at least on the positive side. So if it's not you, we thank. Oh, thank the demons. Pawns of the Imperial Army. The army that you fight for. Fought for. My men and I are in the search and rescue business now. <laughs> you mentioned being part of the relief effort. We have a favor to ask. Ask away. In light of what you've told us, we can't allow the other passengers to continue on. Sure, leave them to me. But who's gonna drive the train? Now that you mention it, yeah. You know anyone? I do. In fact, I know two. This is Biggs and Wedge again, isn't it? Your new engineers. Biggs and Wedge. No need to worry. They can take a lickin'. Only if we have to. What's all this about? Driving a train to Gralia. That all. Well, who would you have me ask? You got us there. We'll do it. Hey. Really appreciate you going out of your way. Yeah. No sweat. I like you, Araneo. So who do we have to thank? You even told us. Um these two, I guess? I don't she hasn't said anything still. Yeah. Hey, thanks for the lift. We're happy to help. Can't say the climate will be as cooperative though, you know? Right, especially the gorge. The place is freezing. Makes sense what with the ice goddess's cold corpse lying around. It's a rather long ride, so I suggest you bundle up before we ship out. By the way, I bumped into a woman from the manor. Used to serve house floor A. Must have gone off looking for you. Said she had something important to discuss. With me? Guess I ought to find her then. <laughs> So, you've cut your ties with the Empire? Yeah. The only way we could help the people was by leaving the army. Lady A would about had it with them, as it were. Lady A? Aranea, the Commodore. Ah. Nothing but demons in the capital. Meanwhile, the Crystal's just sitting there. No one in the army signed up for this. What about the civilians? Hold up in their homes. They're either lying quiet behind closed doors or lying dead. Your guess is as good as mine. I appreciate that they're trying to build it. We'll be waiting on board. Give us a holler when you're ready to shove off. Shall we? Yeah. I appreciate that they're trying to make both sides of this conflict kind of seem sympathetic. That everything's kind of fucked up everywhere the because Chancellor of this stupid is war. Some circus. Well, I mean, it's more like they crafted a third side here. The High Commander got the axe. Literally. And the Emperor is no more than a husk at this point. Everyone in charge is gone now. It's total chaos. All hell broke loose in the demon labs. Elaborate. Unprogrammed MTs left to run amok. Same for the demons we caught. And now they're everywhere. They emanate from the Empire? Yeah. 
The capital's crawling with them. As if that wasn't bad enough, the bastards are stronger than ever now. It's gotten too far out of hand for the army to deal with. And there's not enough daylight anymore to keep the demons in one place. <laughs> and so that's how they got here. Then there's the crystal they stole, for the good of the people, which never sees the light of day. <laughs> A lot of good it's doing anyone now, locked away in the Imperial Fortress. If you intend to linger here a while, might I suggest you take a moment to speak with the people of the manor? I'm sure they'd relish the chance to share their tales of Lady Luna Freya. Better hear them while you can. We won't be coming back soon. Man. Everything's fucked. I mean, not everything. You still have a sweet ring. That we haven't put on yet. Yeah, well, I mean, we, we saw the movie. We see where that, that goes. Yeah. They're just folk to talk to? Are you a weapon shop? So he's selling the, uh... Same things as uh, the fella in that last town. Maybe he just relinquished the goods. Who knows? I'm curious to see what uh, what Ignis meant about that. About the I'm gonna assume it's the folk on the train that uh, he was talking about. I thought he meant the manor. Hmm. Okay. So it'd be your. Be the, uh. Many times great grandpappy. <laughs> yeah. The ring of Lucius, we're gonna assume, anyways, at this point. What's there's another ring? I don't know, yeah. I guess muscle stimulant, perfect for t trying times like this. I mean, there's a world to save, and here you are just running around picking up drugs and shit. <laughs> Look, everybody has an addiction somehow. Somewhere. Where are you going? I guess to, uh, to House Fleur right now. No. Oh. It's telling me. I, th I was I was assuming that Ignis meant the people on the train were going to be the ones talking about Luna Freya. I thought the house was back that way with that building-looking thing on the map, but I guess not. It's the one on fire. Prompto's gone, so we have to take our own photos now. I guess. That is, uh, quite the view. Fucking Prompto. I'm still intensely curious if Arden's even going to attempt to explain himself. Yeah, I don't know. My word. Is that you, Prince Noctis? I, uh, yeah. Have we? Oh, blessed be the stars. Just look at what a fine young man you've grown into. I am Maria, a retainer in service to House Florey. I doubt you'll remember me after these long years. I, um, can't say I do. Don't worry. 
Who I am is of little import in light of what I wish to discuss. Lady Lunafreya risked everything to spirit the Ring of the Lucii away from the Citadel. Did she deliver it to you? Yeah. Stars above! My fears have been assuaged. Lord Ravis too will be overjoyed to hear this news. Ravis too. Begun to fail me. No, I cannot accept it. By your hand, it must be done. To deliver the ring and inspire the king is your calling. You mustn't fall. But I lack the strength to go on. Find it, Lunafreya. You have the will. Go to Noctis. Show him the truth of your heart. I understand you will go hence to the Imperial Capital. Yeah. Lord Ravis has King Regis's glaive in his safekeeping, and it was his wish to return it to you, my prince. Though I imagine it will not be easy for you to find each other. I'll get it from him somehow. I pray it shall be so. And we're just finding allies and people that I would not have expected to be allies. Well, I guess when everything gets overrun by demons, it's not too hard to find allies. Yeah. In a, in a sense, I suppose. It's like the checklist becomes very short. Oh, are you a demon? And now, well, let's be friends. <laughs> Maybe we'll take a break here before we reboard the train. Mm -hmm. Just gonna wander our way back. Let's see if maybe there's more talking to do. About the crystal. Remember how I said it was locked away? Uh, yeah. They really don't allow anyone near the thing. The Emperor himself never got close to it. The lab rats had a theory that the crystal posed some kind of threat to the demons. The way they see it? That's the reason the Chancellor had the Emperor go after it in the first place. Hmm. Dunno, but that theory holds water in my book. This is a big giant demon king. Is she have more to say or is she gonna say the same thing again? I just seen something shiny in the background. I'm kind of contemplating what she said. If, if the Chancellor was the one that was adamant about getting it. It kind of... Um, He's a demon. Puts... Puts Arden in... Chancellor the... demon guy? Pardon me? Wait, is... Chan Arden's not the Chancellor, Chancellor is he? Arden... Whatever his last name is, yeah. He, he's Zula. the Chancellor? Yeah. Certainly explains why the kings have always guarded the crystal. And how they kept the demons at bay. Long story short, we're stuck in this rut until you go and take back what's yours.
This is super interesting now. If anybody else has anything. of his chosen son. Yet in Tenebrae, the two found solace. It was not the Oracle who assuaged their fears. But the girl, she holds the true power. I have little to offer a king other than the voice afforded the Oracle. Nevertheless, and I'm afraid you might find this foolish. But to be together with Noctis again, even if only for a short while, it would mean the world to me. I do not seek to guide him, merely to stand beside him. Freya worried she was burdening you with the wedding. That's not true, is it? No, not at all. And everybody is so encouraging now. It's like the Avatar Luna Freya or something. Yeah. What is a flesh fortifier? Boost defense, okay. That is quite the name for for a defense item. I mean, Viagra? Uh... Could be argued that that is a flesh fortifier. <laughs> Phrasing. I mean... Lady Lunafreya was lucky to find a nice guy like you. Thanks. Don't look, kid. I'm gonna be an asshole somewhere. I agree that you two never blinks. To the right, yeah. Oh, is that book to read? That's the, uh, the magazine. How in the world could something like this happen? Perhaps this is the way it ends. I listened to Lady Lunafreya's address on the radio. To think she gave that speech in the very place she was supposed to be wed. I can only imagine how she must have felt. It's like the Lady Lunafreya fan club over here. In the in this, excuse me, in a sense. Hello, sir. Have you heard of the Oracle Luna Freya? Lady Luna Freya once tended a garden filled with scylla blossoms, watering the flowers herself. Sadly, the whole field went up in flames. Uh, it's heartbreaking to see what's become of it. I wonder that every time a king transitions, like, do they have the same sort of like every 30 years everything goes to shit? It's a good question. Like, or is this an exceptionally, like, bad transition? So you're Lady Luna Freya's fiancé, right? Wanna know something? Okay, then. Everyone knows she liked pretty flowers, but you wanna know what else she liked? Cool stickers. 
It has to be true. Um. Uh, uh, okay. How's it going, boys? Is the mana badly damaged? It's seen better days. So have the civilians. They've been through a lot. And the Chancellor's the one who put them through it. Put us through a hell of a lot, too. He never gets in our way. But he sure loves messing with us. Well, there's a good chance he got his hands on Prompto. Just hope he doesn't mess with him too bad. Ravis didn't have it much better than Lady Lunafreya. Pity we never got the chance to talk things out. Hopefully, His Majesty's glaive awaits us in the capital. Should be, as long as Ravis has it on his person. Just hope the Chancellor isn't awaiting us too. Still can't believe House Florea has reached the end of its family line. I mean, why, if Ravis is still alive? I think the implication was the commander got the axe. It's rather strange. Lady Gentiana has not graced us with her presence as of late. Perhaps she has no reason to stay, now that the blood of the Oracle is no more. Like her, others will eventually leave, and the land of Tenebrae will be lost to memory. Or maybe she was never real. Man, that's fucked up. What if Gentiana wasn't a real person? I guess we should give up on the capital. Yeah, ought to find somewhere safer to hawk our wares. Sounds like the lab in Grawley is a real mess. Wouldn't surprise me if it really is haunted. Wonder where Emperor Idolos went off to. Somewhere six feet under, like the High Commander. Yeah, like what they're saying. It sounds like Ravis got the axe. Hmm. Lady Uda Freya. Are you just hearing the news now? Or is it just finally set been in? Crying for like three days, nonstop. Grandma, I want to go home. Well, dear, right now we don't have a home to go back to. I don't like it here. I'm scared. It's okay, dearie. Grandma's here. <laughs> the black smoke in the background. There, there, stop. Sweetheart. Turn your camera left a little bit. Oh you, can, oh, you can see some of it there. But then there, it's going down. Right in front of Nocta's face. It's it's the waterfall in the dusk. Oh, okay. The Empire has declared Lord Ravis a traitor and sentenced him to death. I believe the attack on the manor was further punishment. Man... to thank her for all that she's done and show your thanks by praying for her safety i'm gonna ask an imperial about it again later and i'll go with you when you do why did you hit that man <laughs> sometimes you just gotta smack some sense into people you know glad you tried it plenty of times with us let him suck that <laughs> 